Hi guys, how's it going? I'm Tim from Cool Creatures, and today we're going to be talking about Tuataras. You're probably wondering why you never heard of a Tuatara. Well, they're actually very rare. They're only found in New Zealand. And the northern Tuatara, there's uh, about 60,000. But the Brothers Allen Tuatara, there's only about 400, so they're an endangered species. And altogether, they estimate to be more than 60,000, but less than 100,000. Now for those of you who don't know what a tuatara is, it looks a lot like a lizard. However, in the reptile family, there's four different categories. There are alligators and crocodiles, there's turtles, snakes and lizards, and tuataras. Now although there are thousands of species of snakes and thousands of species of lizards and everything else, there's only actually two different species of tuataras. And that would be the Northern Tuatara and the Brothers Islands Tuatara. Now, although they're also called the living fossil, they actually are very advanced. However, they have the most primitive heart in all of reptiles, and along with turtles, they have the most primitive ears. Now, although Tuataras do look exactly like lizards, there are a few things that have some key differences. They have a duplex retina which is, if you don't know what retina is, it's part of the eye. But they have two different types, so they're able to switch in between them, and one is for seeing in the day and one is for seeing at night, which helps them since they are nocturnal, but they do come out during the day to bask in the sun. Because it's nocturnal, it's actually able to live at a much lower temperature than average lizards, and in fact, they, at minimum, I believe they're, they usually live at about um, 5 Celsius, which is way too cold for most lizards or snakes. Now another interesting fact is that the tuatara's back and tail have spines, and they closely resemble what crocodiles would to look like. However, they still have the regeneration abilities of lizards, in which they're able to lose their tails in case of danger, and they're able to regrow them. Now these little guys are actually a lot more vicious than normal lizards. They're very, very territorial, and they will bite if you threaten them, and they won't let go without a fight. And they also eat more than just insects. Their diet includes um, frogs, lizards, bird eggs, and chicks. Now their average lifespan is about 60 years, but they're able to easily reach 100 years, and scientists have even guessed that they're able to reach 200 years. However, that would be a very, very rare occurrence, and they haven't confirmed that yet. Now the final key difference in between tuataras and lizards is something called the paratial eye, which is on top of the head. Now this makes a huge difference, however scientists have not yet confirmed what it does. Now it's only viewable for about the first six months, and then after that it becomes covered in scales. However, it's still really sensitive to the light, and scientists have guessed that it is used for absorbing ultraviolet rays, which would create their own vitamin D. Thanks for watching my video on Tuataras. I hope it was interesting, and I believe next week I'll be talking about manta rays, or stingrays, whatever you want to call them.